Kind of an interesting last 24 hours there. Reg, what do you make of all of this Anthony Davis stuff? Uh, well, didn't we kind of see the writing on the wall? You know, as soon as he had signed with uh, Clutch Sports and Rich Paul, uh, I think we all knew. Um, you know, we probably couldn't say it publicly, but we knew that his uh, Anthony Davis time in New Orleans was going to be uh, limited. And uh, Well, you hinted official. at this, though, last week, and you said, you know, there's, I'm hearing something there, you know, but we didn't know to what degree, but it felt like mm -hmm. you thought that something, there was, you know, impending doom here for the Pelicans with Anthony Davis. Look, it's been a tough 10 days for New Orleans. <laughs> it really has, between the yes. no call yeah. and the, and then now you have uh, arguably the best player in franchise history uh, wanting out. Um, if you're a resident of New Orleans, it's very difficult. But now I, I'm, I'm going to wear two hats here. For 18 years in a small market, it, it saddens me because how are smaller markets ever going to compete with the big boys? So I'm saddened at that aspect. But then I put my media hat on, and what people want to know most of the time, did he win a championship? Did he compete at the highest level? And if Anthony Davis wants to compete for a championship, it's not going to be in New Orleans. He's going to have to go to Boston, L.A. Um, so Golden State, that's just what it is. The media and fans alike, it's nice that I – played 18 years in, in one organization. People say that all the time, but people also say, but he never won a championship. And I think that's what these guys are starting to understand. As much as we want to pile on on KD, leaving OKC, being up 3-1 against the defending champs and then losing and then the very next season, you know, jumping on a plane and heading to San Francisco, he's won back-to-back -back championships and been finals MVP twice. So his legacy, I think that's what he wants to build. So I don't want to hear about, oh, where's the loyalty in sports? I get it. I understand. And it, it hurts me. Trust me. It, it does sicken me because there's no way these smaller markets can compete. But you guys can't flip it and say, well, did he ever win a championship? Yeah. Well, he wants to win and compete for a championship. And I think that's what we're seeing. Okay. What's the Lakers game plan? What would your game plan be if you're Magic Johnson? I would call Rich Paul and say, how can this happen? I would call New Orleans. What do you want? We'll give you everyone other than LeBron James. We'll throw in Rob Palenka if you want to. We'll throw in Laker girls if you want. Whoa. What is it going to take for us to get Anthony Davis? And if I'm Anthony Davis and Rich Paul – do you want Boston in play here? Because Boston's not in play until the offseason. How badly do you want to get to L.A., or do you really want to see the open market? Think about this. We're going to have Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, Paul George, all in the Western Conference if Anthony Davis goes there. Think about it. Think about all the stars that are out west. There is no parity anymore, which is another thing that gets on my nerves. The Eastern Conference is just decimated. But it's also bad for ratings, going, Reg. The, the ratings are is. down and it's you have... Terrible. Yeah, so the West Coast games, and, and I said at the beginning of the year, they should start the Laker games earlier just because you want to bring in the East Coast audience. And we've seen, you know, there's no tune-in, must-see factor uh, East Coast basketball. Again, it's... Uh, I get it. I understand it, AD, and I can't fault that. You know, I, I had piled on with Kevin Durant when he first made that move. I, I thought it was a sucker move, but I understand it, and I understand why he did it, and he's, he's right. I mean, I, I don't think they would have ever won a championship with him and Westbrook uh, in OKC. So he, he, he made a business decision, and it is a business, people, yeah. and he is one of those players that are – he, he's a legacy player. We're gonna, when we think of Kevin Durant, when the game, when his career is done, he's a legacy player. LeBron, a legacy player, and uh, right now his he is building a heck of a resume, and I get it. 
but it feels like this is all LeBron. So LeBron and his agent, his agent represents Anthony Davis. So LeBron is sort right. of, you know, the puppeteer. You know, he's he's the one that's going, okay, uh, I, I, I think we're going to get rid of Luke Walton. Uh, I, I don't have any loyalty to any of these young kids. I want to get an Anthony Davis in here because Anthony can help me win at least one more title. My window of opportunity is I probably got four more years here to win maybe one or two more titles. It feels like that's what's going on behind the scenes. What do you make of that? I will, I will say this. LeBron and Anthony Davis alone will not win a championship. They will need a third person. Now, if you get Anthony Davis and then you're able to get like a Clay Thompson, a shooter, now you're into the discussion. But to get Anthony Davis, you're going to have to give, give away everyone. After that, it depends on the supporting players after that. And but if I get forget, Anthony Davis, though, Reg, I can get that third person, right? You, you can. You can. But l let me say this. What is going on now is going to put so much pressure on my mentor when I was at UCLA in Magic Johnson because this past offseason, Paul George didn't even want to take a meeting or a call yeah. from the Hall of Famer. This is a lot of – I didn't say the Lakers were on the clock this season. I said the Lakers are really on the clock this coming summer. They got the big fish in LeBron, but how can – now Now, Magic, how can you attract Kawhi, Clay, Boogie Cousins, now Anthony Davis? How are you going to be able to get these free agents because you're Magic Johnson, you have that megawatt smile, you have the championships – can you bring these guys in to play with LeBron and possibly Anthony Davis? But Anthony Davis alone and LeBron James are not going to win a championship. They need that third player. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.